Turning our focus to breaking news that's coming in, we're picking up that uh, the Supreme Court hearing on Editor's Guild case. The centre presents its stand in court. Case need not be transferred. Case can be heard by Manipur High Court is what we're learning. Uh, let me go across to my colleague Harish to tell us more on this. Harish, if you could help us uh, draw things into perspective as far as what the Solicitor General has said in this development. In fact, rather than that, there are big observations coming in uh, just now. The hearing is on. The Supreme Court has made big observations in the Editors Guild of India case related to Manipur reportage. Uh, the Supreme Court has questioned, <coughs> as Premier said, that there is no uh, there is no evidence, uh, there is no material made out. Uh, the Premier case is not made out against the Editors Guild of India a journalist and also said that your complaint does not even make a whisper of the offence. We are concerned making wrong facts is not an offence. Where is the ingredients? This is what uh, the Chief Justice asked the complainant and the Chief Justice said, I don't want to take all of you off guard. File a response as to why affairs can't be caught. So Supreme Court is considering um, a caution of the affairs against uh, the Editors Guild of India's four journalists for what the Manipur government called uh, the attempt to um, attempt to create communal tension and cause enmity between the groups are, uh, relative, uh, in the fact-finding report. And now the Supreme Court has given a chance to the complainant uh, to file a response as to why the affairs against these uh, four journalists cannot be caused at Supreme Court itself. Supreme Court saying, from FSC, there is no ingredient, no ingredient of offense is made out. Back to you. Right, Harish. I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast with those pertaining remarks. Like uh, Harish also did mention, that the CJI did state that um, they are, of course, uh, concerned and the complaint does not even make a whisper of the offence and making wrong facts is not an offence. But where is the ingredients? Are the pertaining remarks? We'll, of course, keep a close eye on that big story. But for the moment, we're shifting our focus to...